Hello everybody, and welcome to Buzzsaw. Today we're going to be talking about sky replacement, and you are going to learn how to do this. That was pretty cool, right? I'll show you exactly how to do it, and for free. Time to edit. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is come into our editor. You're gonna go ahead and grab your clip that you recorded, click on that, come up here and click Make Composite Shot. Leave this the way it is. Now while you're recording this, it's really important that you record on a tripod. If you don't, it's you can still pull it off, but it's going to be a lot harder for you. Okay, so the very, very first thing we're going to do is we are going to come over here to the pen tool, or the freehand mask, and we are going to zoom in down here, and we're going to go around our house, or whatever object you have. Now that you have your mask, you're going to come down here to the mask tab and you're going to push this little circle icon and that's going to invert your mask. There we go. When you're making your mask, it's really important that you follow the edges very, very closely and carefully because if you miss some spots, it'll be really obvious that it's fake. The next thing we're going to do is going to come over here and grab our background and drag it underneath the footage. And boom, that already looks pretty cool, doesn't it? We're going to come over to our mask, go to shape, feather out and I'm just gonna put that to maybe like five so this already looks pretty cool gotta admit but I think we could make it a little bit better now for my clip since I'm doing an outer space type of sky I have a moon over here or Mars and I'm gonna drop that in right there it's actually way too big I'm gonna go ahead and scale that way down so I have a little planet here um, it doesn't really fit the scene right now, but I have some ideas to make it fit. So I'm going to come down to the opacity and I'm going to drop that to probably 70. We'll do, we'll do 75 for now. And then I'm going to come up here to the ellipse mask tool. I'm just going to make a little circle mask, maybe that size. Come back down to the mask, invert the mask. And then I'm going to open the mask settings, open the shape. I'm gonna put the expansion up a little bit and then I'm gonna feather the heck out of this thing. I'm actually gonna put that down to 70. I changed my mind. So there we go. We already have a really nice looking shot, but we can make it look even better. Even better. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use 3D objects. And I know 3D animation might be kind of scary to some people, but this is actually way easier than you think it is. So the first thing you're gonna do is come down right here on this little canvas tab and turn it into a 3D plane. HitFilm is gonna ask you if you want to add a camera and we're gonna tell it yes. So now we have this extra layer called a camera up here at the top. Don't worry about that for now. We're gonna turn all of our dimensions into 3D. So it still looks the same up here, but you notice we have a few little extra features. Now what we're gonna do is come down here to the settings. I'm gonna select my moon first, I mean my Mars. And you're gonna go to transform and you'll notice that there's a third, a third data set over here and that is for Z. Z is back and forth in 3D space. So we're gonna take our position, I'm gonna say like negative 500. So now my Mars is actually way back there behind that. So if I come here, and I click this tool, it'll actually let me look around inside of my image and you can see that my, my Mars is actually behind the rest of the images. You can click on this camera button up here and scroll down to the bottom and push reset current view to go back to the front facing view. Now I'm going to come down to here to this layer which is my back layer and I want that to be even farther back than my other one. So I'm going to come to the Z axis and I'm going to put 
let's say negative 800. So now I have my background behind my Mars, but you'll notice that there's this black around it because it moved further back, it got smaller. So what we're gonna do to compensate for that is we're going to scale it up until it matches the frame again. There we go. Do the same thing with the Mars or your planet, whatever planet you're using. Now, this still looks the same as it did before, right? So the reason that we put these into 3D space is because now we can put digital camera movements and make it look even more realistic. What I mean by that is, actually here I'll show you. Go ahead and come down here and click on your camera layer. Open your layer properties. Um, I want depth of field. If you don't want it, then you don't have to have it. Depth of field is basically um, blurring things that are either closer or farther and putting things in focus. So down here, the aperture and the blur are what's gonna affect how blurry something is. Um, I wouldn't put the aperture super high and then maybe like 50 is good. And then you just put the blur up a little bit, not too high. I'll do 1700. And now what you'll notice is see how the, tr how the house and the actor are still in focus and notice how the background is kind of out of focus there. So now what we can do is we can come over here to focus distance, turn that keyframe on, and we'll just scroll a little bit through our video till like there. All right, so now after you scroll a little bit forward, you're gonna come over to your focus distance and I'm gonna put mine to about 2450. That should keep the house and the actor out of focus and put your background in focus now. So now if we go back, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Um, your depth of field effects do not play if you just push play. You have to preview it, which is like sort of a pre-render. That already looks pretty good, but we can actually do something else to make it even better. You're gonna click on your camera layer, come over here to transform, and we're gonna mess with the position of the camera. So let's go all the way back to the very first part of the video. You're gonna turn on that keyframe for, for position. And then we're gonna go, I'm gonna go all the way to the end of my video actually. I'll go like right here actually. And then you're gonna come up here to the Z axis, remember the last one, X, Y, Z. And you're gonna scroll a little bit. What that's gonna do, as you can see, it's gonna go through and it's basically gonna move the digital camera closer to the rest of the objects. So if we look in here, Remember how everything is all positioned out now? You see that? Basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna move closer. Now, if you wanna position um, any of the other features of your camera, that's totally fine. You can do whatever you want, it's up to you. If you wanna zoom in a little bit, you maybe wanna go up a little bit, totally fine. You can get all kinds of cool effects. And because it's in 3D space, you can basically do whatever you want and it's gonna react the way it would in real life, which is really cool. So that's basically how you do the sky replacement. Um, you can actually do this with pretty much anything you want. If I wanted to, I could come down here. If I wanna put a pretty sunset, I can just add that in. And just delete the Mars and that. Boom, pretty sunset, there we go. Of course, I'd have to adjust it and fix all that stuff and I'd turn it into a 3D layer, but you get the point. Well guys, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. If you had any questions or concerns, just leave them down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.